The Cats head to the Music City looking for their eighth straight over the Commodores. Welcome into the show, Christy Thomas alongside Coach Matthew Mitchell. Coach, went down to Vanderbilt and not really an easy place to play, but you got a good one. Yeah, very unique gym and, and always a tough game. They're so well coached and they're such a tough team and they were definitely tough uh, on Sunday and we were Happy to come out with a victory. Well, let's take a look at some of those All highlights and see how you did. And uh, you got, got going with uh, a, a little help from, uh, <laughs> you see right there, some nice rebounding. Yeah, we, that was Julia Sidney. And, you know, we had a tough time from the three-point strike in the first half. Uh, but we're able to get inside and fell down by, by seven and we're able to battle back. Alyssa Rice had a great game. She just keeps getting better and better. That was a beautiful play by uh, Michaela. Michaela really kept us in it with 13 points in the first half. Great steal by Lene Harper. Uh, we, we need that kind of defensive intensity from her and uh, really picked up things in the second half. And, uh, we're able to make some things happen with uh, against Vanderbilt, but uh, Lene had a career high 22 points, and uh, that was you know big for us. I thought she really got on the offensive glass at a critical juncture in the game and uh, was able to make some baskets for us. But uh, Vanderbilt pressed us the whole game. It was really really tough. We turned the ball over a ton, but we're able to get a big victory, and we were certainly happy. Uh, to get a road uh, win, they're hard to come by in the SEC. No question. 82-68, the final there. And uh, let's talk about one of your seniors, Bria Goss, a big honor for her yesterday. Yeah, she uh, was named to the Good Works team, All-State Good Works team, and only 20 uh, young people, 10 men, 10 women, uh, only five Division I athletes uh, are awarded this honor, and it's just for doing great work in the community. And uh, Bria Goss is one of the best people we've ever had at Kentucky and she just is such a giver and she's very very deserving of the award. Such a great kid and you hate to even call her a kid. She's a beautiful young lady yeah. inside and out so we're certainly glad that she's a wild Proud kid. of her. Absolutely. Well we're down to our final senior who's on the 30 second shot clock for a final time. The 30 second shot clock is brought to you by Fayette Heating and Air. 30 second shot clock this week. Welcome in everybody. It's an emotional time here because it's the last appearance in a five-year career, never to appear again as a player. Maybe come, maybe someday as a coach or something when you come back or, or as a guest appearance. But please try to get through this. Jennifer O'Neill from the Bronx, New York. How you holding? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. This has to be tremendously emotional for you on the 30-second shot clock. More than I thought. Can you score a little bit, a few more points? You're only third in the conference in scoring. What's the problem? When? How do we get to first? I don't know, just gotta stay in the gym. You gotta stay in the gym. Gotta keep shooting those threes. Got to. Got to. So everything else good? Mm -hmm. Are you excited about graduation? Yes, sir. Tell the people about graduation. What are you graduating in and what you've studied here at Kentucky? Um, I've studied kinesiology and uh, I'll be graduating from the College of Education. Is that gonna be on May the 9th? Yes. Oh, I can't wait. That will be, that'll be sort of like a hallelujah day, won't it? Graduation. Bittersweet, I guess. There you go. Why will it be bittersweet? Because I'll be leaving the rest of my teammates. Yeah. And? Nice to meet you. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's it. <laughs> well, tell me, what's probably one of the best things you've learned here in your five years at Kentucky that you could share with maybe a young player that's thinking about playing in college? Um, besides coming into college in shape, trying to build relationships with people as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Relationships carry you through, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think you've got a great career ahead of you as a professional player. Hope so. Hope you'll always come back to Kentucky and, and hang out with us. And uh, who knows, one day I may be coaching on your coaching staff, one day be an assistant coach for you. There you go. How great would that be? That'd be awesome. Well, you'd really be yelling at me then, wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> hey, we've loved Jen O'Neill being at Kentucky. That's Jen O'Neill. I'm Coach Mitchell, 30 seconds shot clock. So Jen O'Neill, really such a great part of your program and really has come a long way in her time at Kentucky. We've, we've had a, a, a great, great time together and she's grown so much as a person. Really proud of her and become a great player, but really grown as a person. So we will miss her. We wish her all the best. Well, Coach Mitchell defends the Marion County Mafia. We'll tell you why coming up in the Guitar Tip of the Week. The Matthew Mitchell Show is presented by Fayette Heating and Air and is brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den,
Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger. Guitar Tip of the Week. I'm your host, Coach Matthew Mitchell, joined by the tenacious, the tremendous, and the highly touted dynamic duo, otherwise known as the Marion County Mafia, Clyman Gooden Rogers, and Michaela Epps. What's happening? What's up, Coach? Oh, you know, just chilling. It's time for the game show, Sweeping the Nation, asked Clyman. The question is from Diane Clift of Lexington, Kentucky, for the Second week in a row, Clyman, if you could teach Coach Mitchell another court besides open eight, what would it be? No. On to the shout out to Lutheran Anchorage, Alaska, to Brenda Myers in Alma, Arkansas, who always is cheering on her Wildcats from afar, to Lyle Brown in Columbia, Missouri, who came to the game to watch us beat Missouri at Missouri Arena and helped us uh, own the victory. We really appreciate that. And to Monica Kerchival in Lexington. Now that is the same last name as one of the main stars of the TV show Dallas when I was a little boy, but we'll talk about that next time. <laughs> she lives in Lexington and she loves the show. She watches every week. Take it away, Epps. To Anna Grace uh, Pleasant of Raceland, Kentucky, a future baller with Sailor Rose and Presley Blue Mitchell. Go on, Anna Grace, you a baller. I see you to Bob and Karen Newsom of Ewing, Kentucky. Who Go on, had, Bob and Karen, you a baller. <laughs> who have four kids who all play sports and they know how and hard we're working. All your kids are ballers. <laughs> they know how hard we're working. Thanks, Karen and Bob. And the turtle man, Ernie Brown and Squirrel, who both live deep in the backwoods of Marion County. And we know Squirrel's a baller. Take it away, Clyman. <laughs> to Kelly Raymond of Fleming Bar, Kentucky, who loves UK hoops and her favorite player, Jennifer O'Neill. And she what? Morgan. Her favorite player is Jennifer O'Neill? What about Carmen? What's her name? Roll it back down. Wait a minute. Does that say it's Morgan Jets? And you right in here and try to embarrass Carmen and McCaleb and say your favorite player is Jennifer O'Neill? It's a bunch of hogwash. Continue on. To Robin and Mark Hawkins of Lexington, Kentucky, who loves watching the show in our games and to everybody's favorite Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallatin, Tennessee. We're going to see them down at Vanderbilt. We're going to see them. <laughs> T-shirt this week goes to Brenda Myers and Alvin Arkansas. It darn sure is not going to Morgan Jett's aunt who wrote in and on purpose tried to embarrass Clavin this week. No, no, no. You get no T-shirt. Let's show them that T-shirt app so you can get it. Everybody said, think you, you set Facebook page? Yeah. Mm, no, you don't. If you want one of these, like who's getting it? Brenda Myers in Alma, Arkansas. She's going to get one of these T-shirts. All you got to do is write in on that Facebook page. But don't send in the insults. Why would you send in the insults? These young women, they are TV stars. And, and they're, you know, hate is going to hate. Hate is going to hate. <laughs> write in there and, uh, and just interact with us. And that's another edition of the Guitar Tip of the Week. For the cats to play like this, they have to be in great shape. A big part of that is nutrition. Coming up, Bria introduces you to the person helping the cats get three squares a day. Welcome in, everybody. This is Behind the Blue with Bria. The Cook's Kitchen isn't the only thing that heats up in our program. Monica Fowler does a great job taking care of our nutrition for our team. Check this out. Hey everyone, we're here with our nutritionist, Monica Fowler. We're here right outside of our locker room in our lounge, right by our new kitchen. Monica, could you please tell us what are some of the things that, what are some of the important roles that nutrition plays for our student athlete? Well, the, the role that nutrition plays is it gives uh, athletes the edge. So what we look for when you're eating is to have lots of fruits and vegetables because they give you the vitamins and the minerals and the antioxidants you need to stay healthy and stay out there playing because we don't want you to get sidelined because you're sick. No. So. Mm. That's, that's very good. I think it <laughs> so we like for you to have a really well-balanced meal of fruits and vegetables, lean okay. protein, and some good 
grains and um, earthy foods like potatoes and sweet potatoes to get your uh, starch and your energy foods in. Right. Now what about for practice? Right before practice, what are some of the things that we should be eating? Well, right before practice, you want something that's going to get through your stomach really, really quickly so that you're not feeling heavy when you're out there practicing. So when you eat uh, right before practice, you want to eat something like a half a bagel, maybe with a little bit of peanut butter on it, or um, some fruit, a little piece of fruit, um, even some Gatorade if you to make sure you're hydrated, drinking water and things like that. So you want to get something that gets through your gut really fast right. so that you won't get weighed down and you won't get an upset stomach. Right. And then after you eat, that's when you want to have your protein shakes. And, or after you practice, you want to get your protein shakes in and everything to keep your muscles good and strong. Well, that's great. Well, Monica, thank you for helping us on you're everything welcome. that you do this year. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. Nutrition for student athletes is vital in crunch time. Thank you, Monica, for taking care of us. Coach and Jenna are no nonsense this week, cooking up a healthy and tasty salad. We're heading into the kitchen next. Newtown Crossing, the townhomes at Newtown Crossing, and Royal Lexington are designed with UK students in mind. Visit LexingtonStudentHousing.com to apply online. Brought to you by McGee's Bakery in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome in, everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen brought to you by McGee's Bakery, our friends downtown Lexington, Kentucky at McGee's Bakery. Over 50 years bringing you the sweet treats and the good food here, just like we bring you every week in the Coach's Kitchen. I'm your host, Hall of Fame chef Matthew Mitchell. And joined by the always spectacular looking, I mean, I don't want to make be, be shallow, but I also want to recognize your stunning natural beauty. Thank you, Matthew. Welcome to the show. How are you doing this week? Doing great. So I've heard you loud and clear. Too much talking, too much stuff off topic. You want to hear more about the food? So we're going to delve right into it with a vow from me. Nothing off topic this week. We're going to stay on task. So Jenna, tell us what we have going in the coach's kitchen this week. Let's get going. We're doing a rainbow shard salad. Now, um, shard is uh, the, the, the scientific name is beta vulgaris. It's uh, in the beet family. And uh, the first known origins of it are Sicily. And, and, you know, just a little side note here is that was where Michael Corleone had to hide out after he shot Salazzo <laughs> and Captain McCluskey in the, in the restaurant. I think you're getting off topic. Oh, I am? Yeah. So red shard, it's really similar to kale, really healthy for you. Um, and so you take the leaves. Uh, and the difference, actually, with kale is you can eat the stem. So you take um, the leaves off the stem, chop it up, chop up the stems, and then um, saute it. And here we also have toasted pine nuts that will chop. Are those toasted or burned pine nuts? They're toasted. And you just toast them in a dry pan. But okay. be careful because they can go from, from... They can go from toasted to burnt pretty darn quick. All right, it's time to move over to the stove to saute the shard. Well, we've arrived at the stove, and it's time to saute the shard. Yes. Which we're making a salad, right? Yeah, a warm uh, winter salad, bread shard. So you start out with the stems because those are going to be a little hardier. And you need to uh, saute those for a few minutes, and then you add um, the uh, leaves. What was your What were your emotions when Michael Corleone had to leave New York City and hide out in Sicily? Did you think that was fair, or did they even put him in that position where he had to murder Salazzo? Well, I think he wasn't a good man. Right? I mean, he murdered a lot of people. I don't well, know. Well, I think that was a turning point for Michael Corleone at that point in time. I think he was sort of a... Oh, was that when he got out of prison? He never went to prison. Oh. He always beat the rap every time. Are you kidding? No, I think one he time was sort he of, no, he, he was... went into the military, and he was sort of the, the favored son that I wasn't going to get into the family track. business. And, you know, he had to go to Sicily. Married Apollonia. She got blown up in a car. It was very, very, very tough stuff there in The Godfather. Was that Godfather 1 or 2? That was The Godfather. That was The Godfather. I love that movie. What's happening here with the shard? Well, um, you want to cook the stems probably a little bit longer than I just did. But well, it's TV. We yeah. don't have time for a bunch of nonsense. we got to pay the bills here. we just got to get the, the spot sponsored, and we've got to deliver some content here. Yes. 
So then you just want to saute it until the um, leaves are a uh, little wilted. This looks like it's very difficult to do. Uh, looks very hard right here. What are you just tossing the shard? Yeah, I think next week maybe you should just cook and I'll just talk. Well, I mean, I'm not sure that would be all that entertaining, quite frankly. I'm not sure. But, I mean, we can try it and see. I'm sure that I would be very entertaining cooking. I'm just not sure about the talking part with you. What, would you, what could you possibly cook? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich? You think I couldn't do this? <laughs> you think I can't turn over a bunch of leaves that are called vulgaris, beta vulgaris, in a pan? How much longer is this going to take? Um... You know, this is probably good. Well, now we'll be we right back and plate it up and have a delicious salad. All right, we're back. Beautiful rainbow shard. Look at that. Time to plate it. What do we want to sprinkle? Some pine nuts? Yeah, we'll sprinkle some pine nuts. Make sure you don't burn those pine nuts, folks. And then um, some Parmesan cheese. Oh, that looks great. What a great... And then, Jenna, this is extremely healthy. Very right? healthy. Oh. And then some salt and pepper. Okay, okay. I'm watching my sodium intake right okay, now. Okay, there you go. Mm. Unbelievable. And healthy, too. Yep. See that Facebook page? I do. Need them. Um, incredibly healthy this week. It's like a public service. Not only entertaining, but also serving our viewers. Yes. Kudos to you, young lady. Thank you. What are we going to tell the good folks? We'll see you next week. Coming up, we're turning our attention to post play. But first things first, you have to know how to have good, strong stance. The tip of the week is next. UK Athletics would like to thank our official Cornerstone partners. Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics. And Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. The tip of the week is brought to you by Window World the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. Coach's Tip of the Week, welcome in everybody. It is the time in our show where we help our younger viewers become better players. I am joined by sophomore from Lebanon, Kentucky. Super soft, Kyvin Gooden Rogers, also star of the, one of the stars of the Matthew Mitchell Show. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing great. We're going to talk about post play for the next few weeks and try to help all of our post players out there or some of our guards. You need to be a versatile player. You need to be able to get down to the post and, and make some plays. The first thing we want to talk about is just a stance and how you need to present yourself to the basketball. And it's just like in our defensive work, it all starts with our stance. And so what Kyvan wants to do is she wants to get low. Listen, leverage in the post through a good stance is important. Stand up straight, Kyvan. If I have Kyvan standing up straight, I can move her around. If she's down low and powerful, it's much more difficult for her to give up position. So the first thing you have to do is to get in a nice wide power base. You want to be athletic and you want to be able to get the basketball. Now, one of the common things that I see young players uh, do is they really shy away from pressure and they won't present themselves to the basketball. So what we want to do is we want to get 10 toes to the basketball. We want to get our numbers. Kyvan's number five. So she wants to be showing that number five to the basketball at all times in a great stance. 10 toes will help her. If she ever shies away from that and starts getting her, her, her toes away from it, you see the defense can get her there. So she just wants to work really hard to get 10 toes to the ball, get her uh, number to the ball. Now, as the ball comes into the post, it's important to attack the basketball and now get in a real powerful position here. We call this chinning the basketball. So just a few of the basics about post play. Your stance is very important. How you present yourself to the basketball is important. We'll just keep building this over the next couple weeks. That's the coach's tip of the week. The tip of the week was brought to you by Window World, the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. Hard to believe that we're near the end of your home season. Only two more chances to see you play at home. Yeah, two big games too, Christy, with Texas A&M and South Carolina, and they'll they'll be very impactful on where the standings end up and uh, get us going into postseason. So we need big crowds for Senior Day. We always have a great crowd on Senior Day, and this is a great group of seniors we need to honor. Absolutely, you all get out to Memorial Coliseum for Coach Mitchell. I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. 
The Matthew Mitchell Show was presented by Fayette Heating and Air and was brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger.